So, guys, we got more disrespect. And um, <laughs> like I said, man, this is what they do, man. They just find ways to come against the things of God. And um, so it says UK censors D. D. My Lovato poster for causing serious offense to Christians. And I'm just like, wow, they actually censor. This is the first time I actually seen some somebody actually like stand up for the body of Christ. This is like this is mind blowing. This is what we need to been seeing because this kind of stuff is being accepted more than anything. It says the United Kingdom has banned a poster featuring pan. No, the other word sexual and non by binary pop singer D. My Lovato saying that it's offensive to Christians. And uh, so it says. The poster promoting Lovato's upcoming holy, I'm not going to say the other word, features the singer scandally clad and bound in B, B -dis, BDSM gear upon a crucifix shaped bed. Just four days after the poster appeared at six different sites around London, four people filed a complaint to adv advertising standards and authority, the UK self Regular le, regulatory organization overseeing that the adver, advertising industry, the complaints alleged that the poster was likely to cause serious or widespread offense and were irresponsible, responsibly placed where children could see. So, you know, these are all the pictures that, you know, that she was taking, I guess, for her new album, whatever. I don't know her. I don't know her too much. I don't know if she used to play back in Disney or whatever, but this is completely disrespect. And I'm glad that somebody, you know, somebody stood up because we don't get enough of that. We don't get enough of people standing up for the body of Christ and saying, hey, this is unacceptable. Hey, this is wrong. This is mockery. And it's just crazy. They got all types of other religions, but they always come after Jesus Christ. Why is that? Why do they have to keep constantly making a mockery of Christ? Why? Is it because it is true? Is it because Jesus Christ is real? And there's power in his name? This is all just proof that Jesus Christ is truly real. And the word is life. Because they don't come against anything. You got the baby. You got, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Kendrick Lamar. You know, and who, 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 I did, a, I think I did a video about disrespect. Was it Logan Paul? Logan Paul disrespecting Christianity. You got all these people disrespecting Christianity, but they let all those in the algorithm. They let all that, they allow all that stuff in the algorithm. And you, so you see this stuff every time. And it's just like when we get on social media and say, hey, this is wrong. Hey, you know, you're coming against Jesus Christ and his word is disrespectful. And then they say, oh, well, we're just going to cancel you because there's a way we want to do things. And if you don't follow it, we're going to we're just going to ban you. We're just going to throw you off. I, I try to tell everybody, man, it's always Christianity that these people are always coming after. This is they're always making a mockery. And a lot of times they're doing it because a lot of Christians are just not going to stand up. They're not going to say nothing. Because they know the backlash they're going to receive. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to speak up because this is very unacceptable and it's major. It's majorly disrespectful, but it's OK. God said vengeance is his. So we just got to believe that God is in control. These people are not going to get away with what they're doing. If these people don't repent, they are going to see the wrath of God come upon them. These people really need to wake up. It's just it's just highly disrespectful. These people get these get all these millions and trillions and billions of dollars. And then they think they have the audacity to think that they can play God. They can disrespect God all types of ways. Your money don't mean nothing to Jesus. Your money don't mean anything. It's just crazy, man. And, 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 and Jesus is very patient. That's what I think I love about the Lord. Even though these people are acting crazy, God still is having mercy upon them to get it right. But there's going to be a day when he's going to be like, enough is enough. No more disrespect in my name. And we're going to see that a lot this year. That God is going to spank some people for doing what they're doing and, and uh, saying the things that they have said. And they think they, 
walking around with their chest all pumped up, thinking that they own everything, thinking that they can control everything, and everything belongs to God. It's just something to really think about, but I'm glad that somebody stuck up and said, hey, we're going to censor this because this was an offense. This was disrespectful. So shout out to United, United Kingdom for really uh, for censoring this and and just stepping, just really just stepping in because we need if we can get people that are well known or people that are that, that that have really huge influence to really step up and say, hey, we're not selling for this. Hey, you don't need to disrespect Christianity. If we can get a lot of people to do that, the better off we can see and know where the world is really going to go. It's going to go into peace. Because the more the more we can continue to get bigger people to, to speak up for us, for for Christians, the better we'll see things. So it's already, a, you know, it's already difficult. We already can't get hardly anybody to speak up because a lot of Christians just don't want to go through. A lot of Christians just don't want to be persecuted. A lot of Christians just don't want to be hated. A lot of Christians just want everybody to love them and think, oh, I'm just going to just live this life. And I ain't got to really go through nothing. Everything is blessed. I'm blessed. I ain't got to say nothing. I ain't got to do nothing. No, there's there's something that you have to do. There's something that God is telling you to do. We all have a calling not to just sit down, but we, we have a calling to speak. That's what we have a voice for. And a lot of people don't want to use it because they don't want to get canceled. So shout out to United Kingdom for speaking up. We need more people to really speak up. This right here was a blessing. That they said, no, we're not allowing this kind of stuff. We need to stand up more. Love you guys. Y'all be blessed. Today's Son of Jesus Christ.